YouTube, ¿qué pasa? Welcome back to another One Piece Fighting Path gameplay. So today I thought I might as well make a thorough explanation of each of the little menus and stuff. Um, what what is what and what if you click here? What's all of that? And I'm gonna be explaining everything as good as I can, very detailed, right? I'm not going to be using the translating app on the stream right now because whenever I use it when recording, because I'm using this from my phone, it basically overrides my um, screen recording, which is kind of annoying. But since I know almost anything there on the screen where I got a click, I can show you everything, right? So let's get started. Right, so first up, you got the main menu at the top, or basically this entire screen. And as you can see, the little thing that runs through at the top, that's basically a message showing a certain player from the server got a certain character, right? Or made a certain pool. That's the first thing. Right, let's let's go through the different ones. Right, this first one up here, this is basically your cash shop. This is the shop where all the pay-to-win players will basically spend real money to get uh, in-game... Um, Right, they, they try to get in-game um, uh, um, stuff to buy uh, to buy themselves tickets or to buy themselves key to unlock certain treasures and so forth. Right, that's the first thing. Then to the left, this is the summoning menu. Here are all the character banners, right? And uh, this banner right here is basically for your character cards. Um, you can do a times five summon or a times one. And this one here is basically your basic premium summon where the character pool, you can always check the character pool at the top right here. And that's where you can see the characters and their drop rates as well. Um, this is their drop rates. The first banner right here, actually, let's, let's quickly look at the drop rate. So you have a 1.3% chance to get any of these characters. Um, Shanks, again, broken character. Sanji, very, very good. Time skip, Luffy, Luffy, awesome, crazy characters. So this game actually is insane in terms of character designs, right? But anyways, let's carry on. So these are your daily collectibles. As you can see, day 14, you will get this and that. Basically, items you can collect on a daily. This is a current event, which is part of the second anniversary. If you fulfill these certain missions or conditions, you are able to unlock these materials and further things. Then, next up, again, daily login bonus. So, if you just log in daily, you will get these, um, these items across over the month. This here, right here, this is basically gifted. I'm going to buy this as well because I'm, I need stamina right now. Um, this is basically on a daily recharge. There you see the times from 9 a.m. to 15 um, uh, p.m. in the afternoon. Basically, you get the left bunch of stamina and 17 to 23. I mean, you get the, the uh, right stuff that's that basically then again here is part of the current event where you could spend for instance one yen or whatever that may be in your currency and have a chance of getting these items it's like a roulette kind of thing as well um, you could also use a ticket if you have one then you can use that here these are just event related Menus. I'm not going to be delving too much into these menus. A lot of these are, well, the top menus, as you see them, a lot of them are time limited, so they will disappear and will be um, will be uh, replaced with new event icons. So don't focus too much on what they mean. Right. Next up, this is your battle pass, and basically these are the rewards you can get from your battle pass and so forth. First time you you try you get a battle pass, you can actually select a character on the right from a list of characters. And I've selected Shiryu since he's very very awesome to play with. And yeah, basically that's that's your character uh, battle pass. These are the missions you complete these missions, and then you collect your mission points with which you can then in turn 
um, unlock pages on your battle pass and here is like a battle pass completion ranking of the server right now and here are further things where you can exchange certain medals which you get from the battle pass for character shards right and you can choose from these characters um some of the characters and that's that the battle pass man you pretty much always stays the same right this one up here is basically a free ss character you get sanji which is uh i would even say third tier after shanks for pvp um you get him naturally by playing the game and logging in um once you hit level 40 you get the character and once you hit level 45 you get all the major rewards this character definitely worth it. I highly recommend once you get him, build him up. Very fun to use in PvP, right? Next up is like a gift kind of menu. Um, also time limited. This changes around from time to time. Here again, daily login. Uh, the last item is especially this time around for Whitebeard. Um, here is again. These are codes. We, this, for example, is if you link your um your your tiktok account and then you are getting these rewards so you get 1000 uh gold berry and you get one summoning ticket right and these are just copy uh codes basically copy these codes paste them somewhere i haven't figured out yet where to paste them but if you paste them you get these rewards right that's basically that then there is another menu right here basically um like a also a time limited event which is pretty much um due to the current second part of anniversary and when you, when you collect these these things right there you're able to exchange them here and you get items as you can see 15.4 uh, billion berry right there here you can use a hundred uh devil fruits and you get something in return um that's that's basically a little gimmick there you have here another thing where you collect these 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 i don't know gifts and sweets and stuff and when you use them right you can use them here you can offer them basically you get rewards so you get these cards to level up your uh, character cards and you get another bunch of gold berry and again here berry xp books which you need to level up your characters and so forth right that's the next thing um here you have like a little time schedule of what's up when of the events that are coming and that's basically it. the last part the last two parts are basically blocked for now that's that event then here that's the current event where you basically play with a certain set of three characters um you play with luffy i think um let me quickly see All right you play with these three characters a mission which is a boss mission where you fight against uh, marine fort uh, generals and stuff like that and basically beat them within the time and get rewards from it highly suggest doing that this is from the current second anniversary the law um, campaign and the law banner um, here you could use tickets to summon trying to get summoning uh, try to summon to get law um, I got shafted myself. I spent 30 tickets here and I didn't get him. So I thought I'm going to quit right there. I'm going to focus on other things. And here you can spend tickets to try to get his special accessory cards. Um, yeah, that's basically that. I'm still going to be saving up and going to try to get another version of Law. Then the one with Nami right there is basically an event where you can collect um, items throughout the maps where you, where you press um, on the different objectives. Uh, again, use the tab to translate button uh, to figure all this out in thorough. I'm going to just briefly fly over everything, right? It's going to be probably a bit longer video. Then here again, and these are like, this is like a mini battle pass, which uh, you can unlock as well. And again, here are all things. Some of these ask you to spend money. Some of these just ask you to finish certain accomplishments and certain missions and so forth. And yeah, then... Here you have basically a ranked uh, uh, matching that is basically again PvP. Then you have here a certain event which is going on right now where you collect these little wheels and are able to throw a dice and the higher the number the more spots you go forward and hence get you some more rewards. And that's basically these menus. I'm not going to be delving much into them anymore. 
that's just to get an overview over this part right let's go to the bottom right and let's start there right so bottom right when i click on a book it basically takes me to daily missions these are all daily missions once you complete them you basically get rewards i highly suggest always doing that because completing your daily missions every day okay you want ticket every day as well which is nice and then you have further missions and accomplishments finish them and get even further um, uh, rewards and here you have even further missions so finishing these will basically um, get even more stuff next up this is the pvp menu these little two scissors um, here you have free versus free battle um, here you have a uh, ranked battling um, both of these are actually ranked but the middle one is basically the real deal where you fight one v one basically three characters and then you have here the random one this is currently locked for another 52 hours since the leak has closed right on the on the right here you have the you have the pvp exchange shop again check that out and buy everything you need i always suggest getting um fragments of characters you don't have yet um buggy isn't too bad so again it isn't a too bad of a choice actually and again there you have training uh, uh the the chance to to do a character training we're not going to be don't want to be doing that now and so forth right here you have the chance to visit another player's base um these are like just like little gimmicks i never really clicked on them i always just play pvp and focus on the exchange shop right next up the little compass right at the bottom that's basically your game modes right you have different game modes the first game modes basically these three um sanji luffy and nami completing these on a daily will basically um get your character cards highly suggest highly highly suggest doing this basically will help you obtain further cards for your characters to equip it then next up this is basically your 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 dupe system in this game you don't need to summon multiple dupes of characters you only need a character once and once you have a character once you are able to just play with that character unlock all his missions and once you unlock all of his missions you are able to sweep through them daily and collect daily shards for free and yeah these shards can then be used to level up your characters further right here this is also like a ranked game mode where you can like fight opponents this is similar to brave belts and bleach brave souls where you basically auto um through it you can also sweep it very very uh quick mode you have two chances a day free so that's another pvp game mode but not the main pvp game mode, just another side game mode let's just say like that and then again this one here is basically quest to unlock certain um engravements for your characters which will further strengthen your characters here you can change the character you want to get the material for so if i was to go shanks i would have to battle this you have two chances a day to finish this the better you finish the faster you finish the higher the ranking and the higher the ranking will be the better the materials are right and uh, the engravement so that's basically that um part right next uh, let's go to the next uh, menu this one here is similar to senkaimon in bbs um basically it's like you are in a castle you're walking around and you're fighting enemy after enemy and you fight a final boss at the end again you gotta avoid traps and enemies that are looking for you and not to take damage basically a little fun kind of mini arcade game mode then here these are your four daily tries against one of these bosses so these um um um, um, um refresh every week i think um so yeah currently these ones are out basically try and do all four of them each we we'll try to fight four times each day um each level is going to be progressively uh, pro progressively harder than the old, uh, than the other one so you start off at the first one base requirement 3000 power then 5000 power then 8000 then so forth once you once you unlock for example for this one i unlocked them all the highest one is 15k power right do that on a daily let's go back and then next up here is basically your idle rewards 
this idles for a certain amount of time and when you press here you get the rewards which you can then use to level up your um your your characters uh, your your account skill uh boost let's just call it like that the further you level up this up the further you increase your health your strength and your defense and so forth yeah pretty similar to a lot of other gacha games out there this is bot boss battle currently closed so yeah that's basically where you're able to fight a huge boss and then next up this is basically a game mode that allows you to fight, um, for example, here an enemy, which will drop an exceptional amount of gold berry. Then, basically, all of these quests in 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 this in this uh, in this row right here are all materials to further increase your level. So these materials gained from these quests are to level up your cards, um, these to level up your character skill trees these to level up your characters and these to further enhance your skill trees right so basically that's all of that and that's basically all the game modes explained those are the pve game modes bear in mind right next up this is your alliance central here you can do anything with the alliance you can check out your alliance shop um your alliance missions and so forth again use the tab translate button to Get the grips of what's being said right there. Well, yeah, that's just all of your alliance stuff, right? Then, next up, your character menu. Now, we are getting to the real deal. Um, let's quickly fly over the character menu and let's quickly explain something, right? So, on the, on the right, you will see your stats. The first stat is um, your stamina. Second one is your attack. Third one is your defense. The um, the fourth one is your crit uh, crit rate, and the last one is your critical damage, and that's basically the stats explained briefly. You have your star rating on the top, your current battle power with Shanks is one thousand six hundred uh, sixteen thousand seven hundred thirty nine. He is of the green attribute. There is three attributes in this game, so you have uh, green. Um, yeah, you have green, yellow, and red. Was it? That? Yeah, exactly. So those are the attributes of this game. Um, that's basically that. And yeah, right below the stats, you have this one right here. If you press the share button, once a day, you can share it and just post it to one of your friends on WhatsApp or whatever. And you get 50 devil fruits for free. This one right here, when you press here, you're basically able to make a picture of him. Then you have a training section. If I'm not going to be pressing on that, but once you press on it, or well, let's just press it quickly. Uh, yeah, basically, once you press it, you will basically be able to do a bit of um, to do a bit of practicing with your characters and actually see what they can actually do. Right? That's basically just like a training ground. You can also set the training difficulty of the dummy and yeah that's that then here you have like a little story of the character and you can hear two voice like quotes of the character and here is an overview over the skills that you currently possess and what they do and so forth again use the tab to translate button for that right that's that then the first menu i'm going to be clicking now on this this is the first menu for the character enhancement. Here you can level up your character's actual level. That's the first one. This one is to increase the star rating of your character. Again, you need character dupes in order to do this. And this is to further enhance your character's friendship. The further you enhance it, the more rewards you get. As you can see, time progresses. You get character cards, which increase in rarity. You increase your skills. Um, you get devil fruits and so forth, right? Getting all the way to the bottom is um, very, very valuable. Now, let's go back. Here is your card equipment menu, basically your equipped cards for your characters. Here you can level them up, right? So it further increase the ratings. Um, every time it goes to half a star, then you level the card up to the maximum level. Then you need another dupe of a card or a replacement dupe like these ones. Don't I suggest saving these up as these are somewhat rare. 
try and always use dupes and yeah further enhance your cards like that that's basically that then here is your skill tree the menu right next to it was a skill tree here you can basically level up the skill trees of your characters and so forth and that is that and here was the menu i was talking about here you can get the engravements for the characters which as you can see enhance the stats um, of your character right that's all of that done and the bottom left again those are your general missions your island missions let's just call it like that the more you finish the more rewards you get now how are the friends work in this game do you have a mailbox and stuff yes right at the bottom at the bottom left you have your mailbox the the, the farthest one from the from the right that is your mailbox then here is your um your friend list for example here you can send friend points and collect friend points you can accept friendships um and here is a global chat room you also have a friend chat room and a guild chat room and so forth right that's that then again here at the at the left this bar right here is basically auto mission so when i click on this it will basically auto take me to the next part of the story which i have to complete as you can see it's it just basically idles around and yeah i'm not going to be doing that now that's that then you have your side missions and submissions and treasure collection missions that's all of that right when we click on the icon on the top left you can basically check a few things right there you can see your id you can see your characters and whatnot right then you can change your character that you're currently using you can also do that you can uh, give yourself a title that you have unlocked these have just cosmetic um, um, um cosmetic things going with them they don't give you any boost or any enhancement and stuff like that you can change your avatar frame that's also a cool gimmick you can also see some of your ratings and stuff um yeah that, that that's basically all of that in the top left again check it out using the tab to translate uh best thing you can do right now we've basically covered almost anything on this on this uh, menu right there now let's go to the top uh, to the to the right menu, which is basically your commando central. Let's just say it like that. On the top left, you have your inventory. Here you can check which items you can consume. You have your cards. You have further items. You have your dupes of characters and stuff like that. So basically, um, here you can have an overview over all of that. Then up here, you have like your adventures mode um here's your story missions and your submissions right so you can finish these as time progresses yourself and collect devil fruits this way and just complete the game story right then you have here you have world missions basically tapping on these will take you to a location and yeah you're you're able basically to do uh to do certain missions and stuff like that that's basically what you can get um, from here. Right. Here you have your um, account boost. Again, the more characters you collect and the higher the rarities are, the, um, the more of a boost will they give to your account. Here you have your achievements and stuff like that. You will collect items from here on a daily after completing certain missions. Again, this was already shown before. This is your character, uh, your account boost mechanic. The more idle rewards you get, you can level these up and further increase your damage. These three are currently great for me. I can't see them yet. So as soon as I've unlocked them, I will obviously cover them. Anyways, let's progress. This is sort of your collection album. The more characters and stuff you collect the more rewards you get free you mostly get devil fruits from here and devil fruits for all the bbs players are basically like orbs in bleach brave souls this is your ship and your cabins and stuff like that you can enhance these cabins with time basically you have different cabins for example this is sanji's kitchen you can make these items create them and let them run through 
which will increase the friendship rating. Then you have Zoro's uh, training room where you can put certain characters and let them basically idle train and yeah, get stronger with time. Um, that's basically what you can do as well here. Um, let's just put in, uh, let's just put her in there. Right, that's what you can do here. Then at the bottom right, you have like an idle uh, gold berry collector. You get 10 devil fruits every 24 hours here as well. Here you have your idle missions. You can send characters out on missions. They will complete them in a certain amount of time. And then you come back and collect the rewards. And here you can get some free stamina, which, um, which recovers over a certain amount of time, right? Ah, oh, right, we've unlocked again something here. That's basically that. And the bottom left here, you have the normal shop. This is the free-to-play shop here. You just check out the items with in-game currency and basically check what you want to buy and what you want to need. And here are your announcements from the game. At the bottom left are your settings. And yeah, that is basically everything. I mean, there isn't much else I can explain to you guys. All oh, right, I've finished some daily missions too on the side. Um, there isn't much else that I can explain to you guys right now. Um, that's basically everything being shown. If there are any questions, then don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. And yeah, as always, I've spoken too much, 26 minutes. Bruh. Uh, I'm going to conclude this video right here. So if you liked the video and it was beneficial to you, then don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And yeah, see you guys next time.